Okay, so in the last session, um, or one of my past videos, I talked about how to uh, block uh, DNS resolvers in your network and only allow your DNS resolver using firewall output outbound rules, which is all great. It got me thinking, though, that there's got to be a more efficient way um, to maybe intercept all DNS requests, regardless of who the resolver is in the event that you don't know who it is, and then um, force them to use um, your DNS. I mean, we see this all the time, right? So the question was how. Uh, and, the, and the answer is pretty simple. It's using something called uh, NAT, Network Address Translation. Um, and via my, um, via my Ubiquity system, I'll be able to do that using the routing rules. And I wanna sh kind of show you um, what that looks like. So uh, if we go back over here to my test environment, um, we can kind of run a quick check uh, and kind of see where things are. So I'll just go to verify DNS leak tests. And you'll see here that I should be going to Cloudflare, uh, which is what to be expected. User set it here manually. So a user set their resolver locally on a device. And now what we want to do is we want to hijack that and send it to our uh, preferred provider. So we'll take a look at that. So here on the right hand side, I'm in my uh, gateway, my Dream Pro machine. Uh, and I'm going to navigate to routing. Uh, and then in routing, I'm going to navigate to network address trans translation, net. Uh, for this, we're going to specifically focus on destination. All right, so we'll create an entry and we're going to say redirect uh, DNS traffic. Um, and then I'm going to set the interface to be default. Um, we're going to go into destination port. We're going to focus on, well, first we're going to select our protocol. We're going to go TCP UDP. Uh, destination port is going to be port 53. That's what uh, it, it operates under. And then the translated IP address, this is kind of where you want the traffic to go. So I'm just going to send it to um, the clean browsing uh, free resolver family filter. And the translated ports, of course, are going to be 53. Now, if you have a custom account with us, you can just put whatever values issued. But I just kind of want to show you what it looks like. So if I now add this, um, I'll have a new redirect DNS traffic rule. Um, and in your router, you probably have some kind of natty capability. This is essentially what you want to do. How do you identify um, where traffic's being sent, hijack it, and send it to your preferred destination? So now let's look over here and see what's happening. Uh, so if I come back to my environment here and I run it, I don't know if it'll be that fast. It should be. Let's see what happens. You can see here that it's, it's trying to figure out what to do. So let's give it a few more minutes. Um, Let's run it again. There it is. So now I'm purely on cleanbrowsing.org. Uh, and if I were to go here, you can see that my DNS server is still going to uh, 1111. But if I look it up now, you'll see that it goes to 1111, but it's actually returning my destination of 168. So it's doing exactly what we wanted. We, we, the user changed their local settings. It sent it to our router. Um, our router did uh, you know, an uh, address translation to send it to our preferred destination. So even though the user has it at 111 or 888, it gave them a success, but it gave them a success via your preferred resolver. So uh, hope that helps. Um, if you have any questions, let us know. Thanks. Bye.